you are cute one thing about my boy he's gonna tell you that you're sweet for days <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is my son he is six years old gonna be seven next week yay so if you guys remember i cut his hair a few, few years ago the main reason i cut his ear he is tender headed every time i go to comb his ear he always cry but it's a switch why i grow his hair back every time i tell him that i'm gonna bring him to the barber shop he starts to cry so i have to tell him that i'm only gonna cut the side and leave the top and he's okay with that yes i say tender edit a tender edit and i'm combing his hair like that okay so i just wash his hair and if you're new to my channel i always after i wash my kids hair i always use the revlon blow dryer and blow dry their hair this is what his hair is looking like and i realized with me using the unbrush in my kids hair they don't cry you all see how i'm using it like in the past when i'm coming is here guys if we do not have a tablet or a phone to distract them they cry but now i could use the unbrush and none of them cry so this is what his hair is looking like presently guys and um this this is what his hair was looking like last year the next video was last year and this video on the arm um, on the left that was last year and as i say guys he is tender headed and with his hair i do not comb as often as how i comb the girls hair but sometimes i do wash his hair in his conroe i'm also going to show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that i use in his hair i do use it in my girls hair as i see i switch between the shampoo and conditioner between it and she moist so as i say i'm going to show you guys through the video the shampoo and conditioner that i'm using in um in their hair so um in the morning I always try to use the rosemary water and the glove water mix. If I do not have the glove, I use the um, rosemary by itself or the glove. Or sometimes I mix the combination of two and use it. Um, that's when I'm getting my kids ready for school. Guys, I don't use cold stuff in my kids here. You see me have the bottle spraying. Just believe it, it's warm. I always eat a... Put, get a warm water put it in a cup and put a bottle in there and let it sit and let it be lukewarm i do not use cold stuff in my kids here especially my younger daughter having seizure now uh -uh, i don't play them joke i don't play them joke using cold stuff even the oil that i use in my kids here if i'm going to use it early in the morning i make sure it's lukewarm and as I mentioned, I do wash his hair in his protective style. I barely can roll his hair. He likes when I use the rubber band. I know most of my parents don't really like using the rubber band. Guys, the rubber band, if you watch most of my videos, I've been using the rubber band in all my kids' hair. And you all can see my girls' hair are tailbone tailbone length waistline tailbone yeah and you all can see all I use is the rubber band in his hair. If I start combing his hair, trust and believe he's gonna have the rubber band say mommy here either he have some rubber band in his, in his hand or he get me the rubber band and give me the rubber band he likes when i use a rubber band and it's more easier for me quicker so um guys don't be scared to use the rubber band you can hold the rubber band and use it um when a rubber band in, is in your child here you can go ahead and oil it just make sure you don't put it too tight in your child here and you're good at the end of the day you do not want to hear bumps in their hair are they losing their hair so i understand why some of you all are scared to use the rubber band but you all can see my kids don't have no um ball spot nowhere or yes growing up they did have ball spot problem and you all know i did, did use the rice water and everything to take care of that but um as i say when i do take down his protective style to do to wash his hair is like i'm gonna do a deep treatment like um using the rice water or using the aloe vera in his hair I, the only time i'm taking it down is when i'm gonna give him a deep treatment and that's what i did today i used the rice water in his hair and there's a different methods how i use the rice water now i use the rice water with the rosemary um, I go ahead sometime I boil them together or sometime I go ahead and boil them and then blend them and put in put it in their hair and let it sit for 30 minutes yeah so that's what I did to his hair today as I said I'm gonna show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I use but his hair been springing like I do want to go back to the barber shop and cut it a little but he likes his hair like that I don't know who at school or whoever wherever is telling him that 
oh Kamari I like it here but he do not want me to cut his hair again and he's doing good so far so the next day was picture day and um, I have his sisters here to do so I, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do this here the next day I don't tell I don't know who tell me to do that because the next day I wasn't even home I was at the emergency room with my younger daughter so you are gonna see how I get to do this here as I said that was after wash and I couldn't get to do it the same time because I wanted to do all three kids here and get it over with but something did happen um but this is the shampoo and conditioner that i use in is it here in their hair and this is the cantu and they have um different kinds because this is the avocado guys and i didn't even realize i was using two different kinds of um shampoo and conditioner until i'm doing this video honestly to god i did not realize there was two different brand no um, ingredients in them like that one it have the avocado and that's a different flavor so this is the shampoo and this is a big bottle that's the main reason I like this you want to see I, I do have the Shea Moist there I go in between the Shea Moist this I'm, I'm just showing you guys it have the avocado so when you guys look out but they all as I said I've been using it in their hair and they didn't realize and they all works the same way you know i'm getting the same result here clean and everything so this is the shea moist that i'm using as i say i switch in between shampoo and conditioner so this is what i have to rush home and hurry and do because it was picture day and i want my boy to look good and i couldn't give him the protective style that i wanted to give him so i just did this and he come home and tell me thanks everybody say mommy everybody say my hair looks good i'm like oh when I tell you I leave the emergency room and hurry and come home and do his hair and this is what it's looking like. So if you want to take a look on the shampoo and conditioner again, here it is. And as I say, I switch in between shampoo and conditioner. I switch between the Cantu and the Shea Moist. You all know I've been using Shea Moist in my kids here from their baby up until now. I've been switching in between, but I've never let go of the Shea Moist. Um, when my kids was much younger, yes, I used to use the Shea Moist for kids, but I feel like the adults, the, the regular Shea Moist and that the kids works better in their hair than the um, kids version. Ask me like, I don't know. I just feel like it works better in my kids hair. But um, for now, I'm using this Cantu in their hair. And I don't know why I'm trying to zoom up so you guys, uh, I'm gonna bring a, a better video showing you guys because this was just a Oricom video. So yeah, try to come to guys and see what works for you guys. But right now, these are what working for my kids here. And if y'all can see, the bottle is much bigger. The shampoo bottle is much bigger. So I'm getting a lot. And it, it sucks. It's washed their hair good. Like I don't even have to use it two times sometimes. So there we go, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. And subscribe. When you subscribe, please turn your notification bell on. So you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys. Bye.